Hey everyone, let's have a look at Mushrooms today. Mushrooms digital cryptocurrency. Now before we get this video started, I must declare that this video is not financial advice. This video is not supposed to be taken as financial advice. This video is strictly for educational purposes and for entertainment. We're going to have a read through this entire um, article and we're going to get a proper understanding of Mushroom. So first thing to know is that it's billed as an ERC-20 token it's deployed on Ethereum network. A blockchain system based on the use of token, which can be bought, sold, or traded. So Ethereum was launched in 2015, and since then it's become one of the driving forces behind the popularity of cryptocurrency. Now in the Ethereum system, token represents a diverse range of digital assets such as vouchers, IOUs, or even real-world tangible objects. Essentially, Ethereum tokens are smart contracts that makes the use of Ethereum blockchain. Now, one of the most significant tokens is called ERC-20, which has emerged as the technical standard used for all smart contracts on the Ethereum for token implementation. Plenty of well-known digital currencies use the ERC-20 token standard, including Maker, Basic Attention Token. So as an ERC-20 token, Mushrooms has a uh, function similar in some respect to Bitcoin, Litecoin, and other cryptocurrencies. So ERC-20 tokens are blockchain-based assets that have value and can be sent and received. So the primary difference is that instead of running on their own blockchain, ERC-20 tokens are issued. ERC-20 tokens are issued on the Ethereum network. Luckily, because of ERC-20 tokens are so popular, there are many different options for wallet, making mushrooms accessible, and optional to so many more peoples around the world. So Mushroom describes itself as a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer cryptocurrency designed to allow users to process transactions through digital units of exchange called Mushrooms, an alternative to government fiat currency like US dollars or pure commodity currencies like gold or silver coins. Now Mushroom is not controlled or regulated by any central authority. Payments made with mushrooms are processed through a private network of computers linked through a shared ledger. So each transaction is so each transaction is simultaneously recorded in a blockchain or on a computer updated and informs all accounts. So the blockchain serves as a distributed ledger and obviates the need for a central authority to maintain such records. Now let's take a look at Mushroom's uh, price. At the current stage, it's uh, 0 0.63 cents. Only 63 cents. You got to remember there is 30 million, 30 million point seven in circulating supply and 45 million in max supply. Now, when it was first released to the public, the price was actually extremely high. You're looking at over $74, over $100. This was at the start of this year, back in February, actually. And a price have dropped all the way down to around 63 cents. But why is this? Because a cryptocurrency with low supply, usually the price would actually stay relatively high, or at least much higher than $1. So it doesn't really make any sense. But I've got a site that can help us out really good. This site is called Is This Coin a Scam? Basically, what it does, it takes into consideration everything that has been released about the project, everything we know about the project. Now, by the looks of it, there isn't any white paper that has been submitted. That's a big red flag if there's no white paper. The team is also not submitted. But this can be normal in a lot of cryptocurrency, even legitimate cryptocurrencies where the teams are not publicly acknowledged. But things like categories, technology, features, there's a lot of things that are just not public, not available for the, for the world, especially the white paper because that's the DNA that's the DNA of the cryptocurrency and if we don't know what's on the white paper then how can you invest how can you trust so if we have a look at other cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin 100% profile status it says here there's no missing data points because everyone knows what the Bitcoin white paper says because well not everyone knows because not everyone has read it the Bitcoin white paper is public knowledge along with other things about about Bitcoin as well but this is how they rate things. They rate things based on the history. They rate things based on how trustworthy it is, based on the developers, the the categories, the technology behind behind the beyond the cryptocurrency, proof of work, 
so a lot of things like this can determine if a if a cryptocurrency in particular is legal or probably not legal so i'm not necessarily saying mushroom is a scam that's not what i'm saying i'm saying there's a lot of reasons to be concerned especially if there's no white paper now something to remember in the cryptocurrency world is that if the cryptocurrency just seems too good to be true that's sometimes because it can be too good to be true and why do i say that well because the price is extremely low at 63 cents per coin that's extremely low but why am i surprised well i'm surprised because the supply is extremely low now when a cryptocurrency supply is this low it's usually a bad sign if no one is buying a cryptocurrency low supply usually means high price but a low supply and a low price that's rare when it's a legitimate project but I'll still read about a project, you know? They've got a pay-to-pay -pay focus when it comes to Mushroom. The Mushroom payment system is purely pay-to-pay, -pay, meaning that users are able to send and receive payments or from anyone on the network around the world without requiring approval from any external sources or authority. There's also mobile payments that they talk about as well. But like I said, I don't know how legitimate this is. I've never used Mushroom services before. I'm literally just like, I'm curious what this project is. I'm curious why I can't find a white paper and you always have to consult a professional financial advisor before you make any financial decisions because there's a lot of cryptocurrency out there just a lot in fact there's over 11,000 cryptos they that are completely viewable on coin market cap and there's more than this as well that haven't been added to coin market cap so just to put that in perspective there's a lot of these cryptocurrencies that are complete scams a lot of them are complete scams so you have to be careful that being a victim of scam can always teach you is to be extremely careful and vigilant let me know what you think do you think uh, mushroom is a legitimate um, legitimate uh, cryptocurrency or do you think that there's something that's not right about mushroom or do you think that it's just because of the community lack of support but also, what do you think about the lack of white paper? I mean, that's a big deal for, for all and any cryptocurrency is that a white paper is extremely necessary. But thank you for watching this video. Subscribe. And of course, I will see you in the next one. Let me know. What do you think about Mushroom?